Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and today we're going to be doing another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial. Now, right off the bat, I just want to get this out of the way. I know I've been getting comment after comment after comment that Vegas is no longer owned by Sony. It's now owned by Magix, and I've been misinformed that I've been, you know, I've been giving misinformation by stating Sony Vegas Pro 17 every single time I made a tutorial, and I do apologize about that. It's just I've been using Vegas Pro since 2000 seven so i've the first ever vegas pro i ever had was vegas pro 9 and we're on 17 so i've been using this for a long time so forgive me if it's stuck in my head or i'm stuck in my ways with saying sony vegas pro even though it's wrong it's just a way i've always done it so just so you know that's that's the reason why but i promise for the future i will be better with that and i will be naming the videos properly and i've gone back and renamed all the videos to the correct Vegas Pro 17, not Sony, so just a disclaimer. With that being said, today's video is on slow motion and time lapse, so essentially just speeding up video and slowing down video, what's the easiest way to do it? I will state this at the beginning, there is multiple ways to do this, and I'm sure that if you are a veteran to Vegas and you've been on the platform for a long time, I don't know why you'd be on this video first of all, but if you are and you've already known how to do it and you're just looking for a different way to do it, uh, you may already know this way and you may have a better way of doing it. If so, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts or hear how you do it. But this is my way and the way I've always done it. So first things first, we want to import a clip to your video track. So we're going to go up to import media and we're going to look for a video. I'm just going to go to my YouTube area. Um, let's just click on a random video clip. Nothing too crazy. We'll let it load in here. All right. Once it is loaded in here, we are going to drag and drop it down into our timeline. Now, once it pops in here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out to the section that we're wanting to slow down or fast forward. We're going to start with slowing down or making a slow motion effect. The best way to do this is make sure you've already recorded in 60 frames per second or higher. If you have a high speed camera, which is meant for slow motion, obviously, you're gonna have a better effect than someone who's using a cell phone and recording only in 30 frames per second. The more frames per second in your video, the better or smoother the slow motion will look. All my video here is recorded in 60 frames per second so we can get a pretty smooth effect. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to a part maybe where I shoot somebody or something in this Call of Duty clip. So we're just gonna search for that. Here we go, here's somebody getting <laughs> shot. Uh, we're going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard to scrub through uh, frame by frame. And we'll do it. We'll start it right here. Okay. So right where you want to start, I'm going to hit S as in Sally on the keyboard to split the clip. I'm just going to right click and delete the beginning because I don't really need that. And I'm just going to go to the end of where the slow motion is going to end with again using the arrow keys. We're just going to scroll through. And there we go, we'll end it right there. We're gonna hit S as in Sally again. I'm just going to delete the rest of the clip because again, I don't really need it for this purpose. So we're going to take this small little clip, I'm gonna drag it all the way to the beginning. Because one thing I've noticed, uh, I don't know if it's a setting I have or whatnot or if something you can change, but what I've noticed is if you leave your clip, like let's say you did that and you left your clip out here and then rendered your video, this entire beginning would, would be left blank and you'd have to wait all the way until an hour and 15 minutes in and then you'd start seeing your clips. So make sure you always drag it to the very beginning or, you know, obviously if you have a part in the video that's in the, in the beginning and then there's a part you want to slow down, disregard this entirely. This is just if you're just making a slow motion clip in general. Now, with that out of the way, and I'm sorry that, that got confusing, we are going to make this clip slow motion, so or slowed down, I should say. Now, this is extremely easy, and I apologize if this comes across as kind of duh, or like, why didn't I think of this? The easiest way to make something slow down or make it slow motion is to hold the control key on your keyboard, so the, the control key, and when you go to the edge of the clip, you'll notice this kind of like cool wavy line, and as you can see, it's labeled as time stretch. Now, if I let go of the control button, you can see it that goes away. And we're left with just the trim event end. Now, again, if I hold down control, we get the time stretch. Now, while holding control, you want to click and drag your clip. And the longer you drag it out, the slower it's going to be. There is a max. As you can see, this is the 25% is the max that we can go for 
this effect. Uh, and this is why this is the easiest way to do it. And there is more complicated ways, but I personally haven't ever had to use them. So that's why I'm not going to get into that with this video. Again, if you want to know other ways, you're going to have to look up another video. I do apologize about that, but this is the easiest way. And honestly, the best way that I've seen to do it and it just works. So I really don't see another reason why you'd have to do it any way other. So with that being said, we stretch it out to its full ability. Let's see how slow it is. It might lag a little bit, but let's see. So there you go. It's pretty slow. But that, that essentially is your slow motion effect. Now, as you could hear, the audio is pretty distorted. It's echoey. It's gross. Now we can definitely fix this. And I know the cliche is if it's in slow motion, you want to have a deep voice and be funny. Now, this is how you do it. So we're going to uh, go to or select the audio portion of your video clip. We're going to click on this little FX of button, which is the event effects for the audio track. And once this pops up, we're going to add a couple things. First thing we want to add is the pitch shift. This is what's going to give us that slow motion deep voice effect. And we're going to hit add. And lastly, we're going to add the smooth slash enhance add as well. And hit OK. Once you have those both added, you can see they are both selected off the bat. We're going to deselect the smooth enhance for right now, and we're just going to solely work on the pitch shift. So by default, uh, this is how it looks. And you want to make sure that the preserve duration is checked. For some reason, by default, it's not, but make sure it's checked. And the mode, we want to select something with a less echo. I normally go for the drums, which is tiny echo or the, or the least amount of echo possible. I, you know, disregard what it's called, solo instruments, whatever. It's mostly just you want to have as the least amount of echo as possible. So we have preserved duration, tiny echo, and now the very top bar, the shift pitch is essentially the low pitch or high pitch. So if you, if you go negative, it'll make your pitch lower or essentially, you know, that super deep voice. If you go higher, it's going to sound like the chipmunks, Alvin the chipmunks. So we want lower to make it more funny. We're going to go negative five. We're just going to cancel out of here. It'll save automatically. And let's give it a listen and see the difference. So you can definitely hear the slow motion, the lower pitch, but there's still a lot of echoing going on. Now to help with that, uh, we can actually try different modes. Sometimes this helps for the most part. I've, I've had it help in the past. Still quite a bit of echo there. Let's try this solo instruments. Still a lot of echo, quite a lot of echo with this one essentially. Uh, minimum echo. Here we go. I'm pitched. Let's try that. That's the best sounding one so far, but if you want a little bit better sounding, that's where the smooth and enhance comes in. So we're going to select that, make sure it's checked, and we're going to go to smoothing. We're going to move it a little bit to the left. We'll see what this sounds like. It's definitely better, but it still has quite a bit of echo going on. And sometimes just going back into the pitch shift area and messing around with some of the settings does help. I'm going to turn down the uh, sense to shift pitch a little bit to the left. And I've noticed this also has helped with echo in the past. Oh yeah, that's much better. That's already much better, like 10 times better. Uh, sometimes turning the accuracy to low, high works better. I mean, it really just comes out of personal preference. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it where it was in the middle. And then we'll leave it more to the left here. And that essentially is how you get that slow motion deep voice effect uh, with also slowing it down. So that essentially is slow motion. That's the easiest way to slow down a clip. Just hold the control key, drag out your clip to the desired length. Again, if you don't want it that slow, just drag in a little bit more. It'll be a little bit faster, but it's still slow, slower than the original clip. And that's how to make a smooth slow motion effect with Vegas. Now, let's say you want to make it a time lapse or, or speed up your clip, essentially. Now, now, again, multiple ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way I do it. Believe it or not, it's the exact same way of doing the slow motion effect, only in reverse. So um, to do this, I'm going to drag down the clip. We're going to delete this this one because I'm not going to be slow motion anything. Uh, let's just say, uh, I don't know. Is there a part with me running? I guess this part works, right? So I'm going to cut the where I'm going to start the fast motion effect or the time lapse. 
So with S as in Sally on the keyboard. I'm gonna get rid of the rest of the clip that I don't need. And that's just with the right click delete. I'm gonna drag this back to the front so we're not, you don't have any empty space at the beginning of your timeline. And let's just say, I don't know. I want this to be a little bit longer to make it more obvious that I sped it up. So right to where I die. So we're gonna go to the end of where I want this, the fast motion or time lapse to end. I'm gonna hit S as in Sally again, right click the end of it, delete the rest I don't need. So this is essentially my clip I'm going to speed up. Same exact concept. We're gonna hold control on our keyboard and we're gonna go to the end of the clip and you'll see the time stretch appear. But this time we're gonna click and drag it in. And you see it gets really tiny. And you know that you've time lapsed something or added a stretch effect essentially with these little wavy lines on the timeline. That's how you know. Now watch uh, when we watch the clip here. You can tell how fast it is. It might lag a little bit because even though my computer is pretty beefy, even the beefiest of computers will lag when messing with uh, stretching events, but we'll see how it looks. Okay. <laughs> you can tell by the audio, but uh, definitely it obviously lagged and didn't show me the whole effect here. But we can use our keyboard, our uh, arrow keys, and kind of scrub through it, and you can see just a taste of how fast it goes. So maybe this part will be fast. There we go. Let's try. Sometimes it loads better if you do it, if you go through it first with your keyboard, with your arrow keys. And just keep going like this. All right, let's try that. Okay. But you can get, you get the idea, right? That, that essentially is speeding it up, time lapse, you name it. Um, now again, there is a limit to doing it this way. Again, we are at the limit right here. This is as fast as we can make it. Again, there are other ways to do this uh, that you could possibly, I guess, make it go faster than this. But this is just the easiest way to do it. And again, I've literally never ran into a time when I needed to make something faster than this. Because really, if you make something faster than the limit that this sets, it really would look pretty bad, I guess. There really wouldn't be a reason for it. So, that being said, if you're looking for another way to do it, I'm sorry, it's not going to be in this video. But... For everybody else, this is the way that I have always done it for the past 10 plus years, and it, I think it works pretty nicely and it looks pretty good. And the same thing, if you want to fast forward something for like a comedic reason and you want to have higher pitch voices and stuff, same exact thing. You go down to the audio portion of the video clip, we're going to go to effects, and we're going to add the same things. We're going to add the pitch shift, add, and we're going to add the smooth and enhance, add. Okay. Once those are added, we're gonna, again, deselect smooth, go to the pitch, preserve duration, switch this, uh, let's do the minimum echo this time, and we're gonna go to the right this time on the top uh, shift pitch. Go to five or six. And we'll just take a listen and see what it sounds like. Okay. So we could go even higher to make this a little bit more funny. And I can still hear some echoing, so we're, again, we're gonna move this one to the left the uh, sense to shift pitch and then we're going to turn the smooth enhance on and we're going to move the smooth over to about two or three okay. and there we go so like at the end there it really sounded like okay. like a chipmunk kind of thing um but again all this is trial and error it's really just your own preference what you think sounds good what you think sounds bad <laughs> i guess kind of thing um, but it really just comes down to just keep messing around with it until it sounds perfect the way you want it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. That's pretty much where I would have it. Okay. Like, not, not too bad, I guess. But that essentially is fast-forwarding a clip. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. That is how to essentially slow motion an area or fast motion an area on a video clip of your choice. If I missed anything in the tutorial, please, please let me know in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to reply and help out in any way that I can or make a future video to go over some of the major stuff that I may have missed in this video, but just let me know. Other than that though, if you have any other questions or any other ideas for future tutorials, I love hearing your guys' ideas. This video was actually given to me as an idea from, I hope I'm saying this right, Fatal. Uh, F-A-T-A-L. So thank you for your suggestion for this video. 
And like I said, I will take all future recommendations to heart, so if you ever have any ideas for anything that maybe you're struggling with, please let me know in the comment section below. However, before you do, just make sure I haven't already made the tutorial by checking out my channel. And I do have a playlist for the tutorials on the channel, so you can go through and look at those. And I do have a full beginner's tutorial as well. It's about 30 minutes long, so highly recommend checking that out if you are a beginner to Sony Vegas. There I go again, saying Sony Vegas, but you get the gist. So, if you are new to it, highly recommend checking out the beginner's tutorial. With that being said, though, I hope you guys liked the video. Leave a like, share, support. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload again. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.